Take Your Health is brought to you in part by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. All right, welcome back. Well, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So Jen Campbell is here. And Jen, you're the Executive Director with South Valley Services. What do people need to know when it comes to domestic violence? Right. Well, what we usually like to start is when we're talking about domestic violence is who to refer. So when people come to our agency, we have a shelter and resource centers. Mostly they come from their friends and their family that are mm -hmm. referring them. And so we talk to people about knowing your resources and know the things that are available. Because victims, when they come forward, they're coming forward to someone usually they trust, so a friend, a family member. And so we ask that when they do come forward, that they know and have a way to refer them to get some help in their communities. What are some of the signs that people should be looking for when it comes to domestic violence? Well, it ranges all over. So some individuals may be pulling away from their families. Maybe they don't want to interact or engage in the things that they've done in the past. Um, oftentimes they, they are drawn away. And so a lot of times, though, we don't see signs. What we say instead is to talk with people that you know in your community, talk to your family members, see if you see um, needs that they may have. Sometimes we'll see disagreements or arguments or things that we could step in and offer some advice or help. And there are all different kinds, different forms of domestic violence. Tell us a little bit about each of the forms. Yep, so there's financial abuse, which a lot of people don't recognize, but mm -hmm. it very much happens. So an individual may not have access to their finances or to the things that they have there. Because someone's keeping those from them. Absolutely. So maybe they have a joint checking account and they're mm -hmm. not allowed access to the money that's in there in the account. Um, there's also physical abuse, which is one we most often think mm -hmm. of, um, and that we see, you know, bruises and things like that are some of the triggers that we look for, but there's emotional abuse usually attached to a lot of those abuses that we don't even think about uh, that individuals are going through. Uh, sexual abuse is a part of that. Um, there's also spiritual abuse that people can use over individuals, uh, whether religious or uh, kind of those backgrounds, and, um, and those kind of fall in the main areas that we see. Okay, and again, where can people go for more information, resources? Wise. Right. So we have the South Valley Services has a website. It's www.svsutah.org. There's the Utah Domestic Violence mm -hmm. Coalition as well that has resources there. We have a hotline number, and there's hotline numbers there. Our hotline is 801-255-1095, and individuals can call 24 hours a day if they're looking for referrals or help. Okay, there is a place to go for help if people are in need, and friends and family can certainly reach out to you if they are worried about one of their loved ones. Absolutely. Okay, Jen, thanks so much for being here. Let's get a look